The actual meaning of the word epidemic means upon or above people. Welcome back guys. In today's video, we are going to give you a comparison of the recent coronavirus outbreak to six other deadly outbreaks. But before we start, please do remember to check our previous videos and click like and subscribe. An epidemic is when a disease affects a big number of people causing a rise in the death toll within a short period of time. It has the power to bring society to a standstill and cause panic around the world. Coronavirus, officially named COVID-19, is also one of the epidemics that has fallen on this earth, taking the lives of more than a thousand people and has spread to more than two dozen countries. Therefore, it has been declared a world public health emergency by the WHO. Besides the Wuhan COVID-19, there are also a few more epidemics that date way back to the Anno Domini times and some are still seen till today. So let us take a look and get to know a few things about these other viruses and bacteria. The Plague of Justinian this plague was seen during the years 541 to 542 AD and was caused by the bacteria named Yersinia pestis. The plague of Justinian was responsible for the pandemic that took the largest amount of lives in recorded history. Estimates say that approximately 30 to 50 million people died from it, which was half the human population of Earth at the time. Symptoms included fever, headache and chills. The plague was said to have been spread via fleas that travelled on the back of rats, which means that the rate at which it spread was very fast. These rodents travelled the world on trading ships, causing the disease to spread from China to Northern Africa and ended up spreading throughout several countries. The origin of this plague was said to be in Egypt and thousands of people died on a daily basis at the peak of the deadly plague. The Black Plague This plague was witnessed in the years of 1347 to 1351. Also known as the Pestilence or the Black Death, this plague lingered on for decades and the cause was only known until the 1600s that it was because of a strain of bacteria named Yersinia pestis. The plague arrived in Europe in October 1347 when 12 ships from the Black Sea docked at the Sicilian port of Messina. People infected became gravely ill and were covered in black boils that oozed blood and pus and it took the lives of more than 50 million people. The outbreak started in Asia and was spread throughout the world on rats carrying infected fleas. Once it spread to Europe, the continent lost 60% of its population. It also started spreading via blood and airborne droplets causing the death rate to rise in just 6 to 10 days. HIV AIDS This virus started in the 1960s and is present till date. As World Atlas points out, the disease was at its peak in the 1980s when the world was first informed about HIV. Up to today, the virus has caused the death of 39 million people worldwide so far. It was first believed that the virus was spread only by same-sex intercourse. However, in 1983, it was discovered that transmission also occurred via heterosexual activity as well as blood transfusion methods. Treatment first became available for people with HIV in 1987. Expanded as the human immunodeficiency virus, there are about 37 million people living with it today. Treatment with antiretroviral medicines has greatly extended life expectancy. SARS First reported in 2002 and was announced that it was contained by July 2003 according to WHO. The Wuhan coronavirus is a part of a large family of viruses that can cause infections including the common cold. More deadly was the severe acute respiratory syndrome virus which was known to have spread from civet cats. This disease appeared in November 2002 in the Guangdong province of southern China. 
this virus infected 8098 people over the course of 8 months killing 774 where patients experienced fevers headaches and a type of deadly pneumonia that could cause respiratory failure the wuhan coronavirus has already surpassed the death toll for sars and much like the wuhan coronavirus there is currently no cure for this disease ebola Ebola virus disease, also known as Ebola hemorrhagic fever, is a viral fever of humans and other primates caused by Ebola viruses and was first discovered in 1976 in the Ebola River which is now known as the Democratic Republic of Congo. Recent outbreak was in the years 2014 to 2016. The cause of the illness usually progresses from dry symptoms initially such as fever, aches, pains and fatigue which then progresses to wet symptoms such as diarrhea and vomiting. Ebola is not an airborne disease. It is impossible for a person to become infected by breathing in the same air as the patient. The virus spreads to people initially through direct contact with the blood body fluids and tissues of animal and has killed around 11,000 people in four years. Ebola virus originated in sub-Saharan Africa and is a serious viral infection. Middle Eastern Respiratory Syndrome First reported in September 2012, MERS has killed approximately 858 people. In 2012, a novel coronavirus that had not previously been seen in humans was detected for the first time in a patient in Saudi Arabia. Since then, the coronavirus is now known as the Middle Eastern Respiratory Syndrome and was said to have first originated in camels. Thankfully, the WHO has pointed out that improved infection, prevention and efforts to reduce human-to-human -human transmission have worked and it has greatly lowered the number of deaths from MERS since 2016. We can safely say that the Wuhan coronavirus or COVID-19 has surpassed the death toll of both SARS and MERS and is of course a worrying sign. However, it's important to bear in mind that panic is never a wise decision. The death tolls of these deadly plagues have drastically decreased and is because of the efforts made by global health organizations, the same ones that are now dealing with the outbreak that originated in Wuhan. Thanks for watching guys. Please support our channel by hitting like and subscribe and do remember to let us in on your thoughts in the comment section.